We turn now to the coronavirus and the record high number of cases, only second in number to the beginning of the pandemic in March. Elected leaders across the area continuing to urge everyone to wear masks and follow social distancing rules. We have team coverage from New York City to New Jersey on the increasing numbers and the planned next steps. We begin with Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson. She joins us this evening from Gramercy Park. Kimberly. Well, Sandra, plan B averted for now. MS 104 and public schools all over New York City will be open tomorrow, including Catholic schools in Brooklyn and Queens. But Mayor de Blasio warns we are not out of the woods. As for Governor Cuomo, he says when it comes to a COVID-19 vaccine, he refuses to allow New Yorkers to be bullied. I do want to let you know school is open tomorrow. And that's a blessing. It was just the news Doug had hoped to hear Monday morning. His five-year-old daughter, Scarlett, will physically head back to kindergarten. You got it. Other parents, teachers, and staff in the New York City public school system were also waiting for word if they would have to switch to all remote. Mayor de Blasio says for now, no, that the positivity rate of COVID-19 citywide, that the seven-day test average is 2.57%, below the 3% mark when he says things would change. If they weren't in school, they'd be here with hundreds of kids instead of just five kids in a classroom spread out wearing masks. When it comes to remote learning, Governor Cuomo suggests focusing on the school's positivity rate rather than the entire city, adding the school may not be part of the problem. What is a huge point of contention? The governor maintains the Trump administration's vaccine plan in terms of who has access. Any plan that intentionally burdens communities of color to hinder access to the vaccine deprives those communities of equal protection under the law. The governor promises legal action with help from the NAACP and Urban League if the plan isn't changed. He says New York State will mobilize an army of faith and community-based groups to help vaccinate people. David lives in Manhattan. I appreciate living in a... Uh in a state that actually takes care of things and takes care of their people. At a time when families are looking forward to Monday, going to school and not having to switch to a less than ideal plan B. We just take turns and we all yell at each other and uh, yeah, that's the plan. I bet that plan sounds familiar to a lot of you. As for the vaccine, Governor Cuomo says in terms of access, he stresses it's not just a question, a moral question, but also a legal one. For now, we're live in Gramercy Park. Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.